Hello viewers, this is Wagda Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on all level physics and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the solutions to UNEB of physics 2019 paper 2 particular question 5. Now where necessary the following constants can be used. So this is the very question I left in the previous video and I believe by now you have already tried it out and ready to check your progress. So let's start with question 5 part A. Part A says state the laws of refraction of light and they give it two marks. So let's see how those two marks can be got. So first of all, we shall say that the incident ray reflected, re refracted ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lie on the same plane. Then the second one will be that for a given pair of optical media, the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence to the sign of the angle of refraction is a constant. So now we shall go to part B. That's what they wanted in part A. Now we shall go to part B. Part B says figure 3 shows. Now this is figure 3. It shows a periscope being used to view a distant object by an observer. Copy the diagram and show how the image of the object appears to the observer and they give it for max. So these are the rays from the object they are reflected by this mirror to this mirror and from this mirror they are reflected again to reach the observer and this observer sees these rays as though they are coming from this image of the tree. Now let's see how max can be awarded. So, the first row is one mark, the second row is the second mark. That's how the two marks can be got. Then for part B, the first mark will be for you to draw these two rays from the object to meet this plane mirror. Then the second mark will be for this, for the reflection of this ray from here to here and from here to here for all those two rays. Then the third third mark will be for the virtual rays drawn for you to extend this this ray from this which goes which reaches the observer's eye backwards to be to come from this side that is the for the third mark then the fourth mark is for you to draw the image but you must follow this condition that the image drawn must be upright as you can see here same size so it should be the same size as this object and also virtual i think you see that it is dotted so all those three conditions must be fulfilled for you to get this one mark so basically that's how the four marks will be got in part b now shall go to part c part c says Give two reasons why a periscope made of prism is better than one made of plain mirrors. And they give it to Max. So let's see those reasons. So the first reason is that reflecting periscopes absorb very little light energy and so produce clearer images than plain mirror or you can say that light is lost in plain mirrors due to partial reflections then the second reason is that reflecting prisms do not tarnish or and deteriorate as plain mirrors And the third reason you can say that reflecting prisms do not produce multiple images while plain mirrors do. So basically, that's what they wanted. And now let's see how mass can be awarded. So the first, and the first reason that is one mark, second reason that is the second mark. So any two reasons is okay. 
So now we shall go to part D. Part D says that an object 4 cm tall is placed 24 cm in front of a concave mirror of focal length 8 cm. By graphical method, Roman 1, determine the position of the image formed, and that is for Max and Roman 2. Then let's start with Roman 1. But before we start, you have to know that this object is, ob this is the object height 4 cm and object distance is 24 cm and the the mirror you are using is a concave mirror in other words a, conver a converging mirror and the focal length its focal length is 8 cm now they have not given us a scale meaning it is us to choose our own scale so we shall consider a scale of 1 cm to 2 cm meaning that this on the graph it will one centimeter will be representing two centimeters. So the first thing to do is to convert. So the object height was four centimeters, it will be now it will be represented by two centimeters on the graph. Object distance was twenty four centimeters, it will be represented by twelve centimeters. And the focal length was eight centimeters, it will be represented by four centimeters on the graph. So now that you have converted, we can now draw, show our red diagram on the graph. Now the first thing to do is to draw the principal axis. This horizontal line is the principal axis and this one is a symbol for the converging mirror. The whole of this is a symbol for the converging mirror and this is the symbol for the principal axis. So next is to demarcate the, the position of the principal focus and the center of curvature. So this is the position of the principal focus and the position of the center of curvature. Because they told us that the focal length is 4 cm, so you have to count 1, 2, 3, and 4. That is 4 cm. Then you have to remember that this, this position of the center of curvature is twice the focal length. So we have to again count another 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's how you can locate the position of the principal focus and the center of curvature. Now next is to locate the position of the image. Remember they told us the image is image distance is 12 centimeters. So from here to here it has been 8. So we have to add on another 4. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this will be the position of the object. So let's show the position of the object. So now this is representing our object. So next is to start drawing the ray diagrams. First of all, you have to remember that a ray parallel to the principal axis is reflected to, co to pass through the principal focus. So you have to first draw that ray parallel to the principal axis so that is reflected to pass through the principal focus F. The next one, remember that a ray through the center of curvature is undeviated. So we have to draw, sorry, it is reflected to back uh, along the same path. So this is the ray through the center of curvature. On reaching here, it will be reflected back along the same path, and that will be represented by this arrow. So next is now that we have got the intersection of these two rays, we shall locate we can be able to locate our image which they wanted us to locate. Now this is our image. Remember from here to here it was four centimeters, so four, five, and six. That means that the image distance is six centimeters on the graph. So you have to change it to actual. So come and remember that on the graph one centimeter represents two centimeters on the actual. So that means that six centimeters on the graph will be equal to six times two to give you twelve centimeters. So basically this is the object distance which they wanted. So now we shall go to Roman two. Roman two says find the magnification of the image. So we have to remember that the image magnification is equal to image distance over object distance. Therefore, image is 12 and object is 24 to give you 0 0.5. Then we shall go to Roman 3. Roman 3 says, state the nature of the image formed. So first of all, you shall remember that the image formed is real, then inverted 
Vrio because it is formed by actual intersection of light rays. Inverted because you can see the in this arrow is up and this one is downward. Therefore, it is inverted. Then also it is diminished because the magnification is less than one. So we shall come and say that the image formed is Rio inverted and diminished. So basically, that's what they wanted. And now let's see how marks can be awarded. So first mark will be for you to locate the position of the object, then drawing the first ray well, refraction of that first ray, and also drawing the second ray well and refraction of the second ray. And also showing the position of the image also gives a mark. So basically those are the marks now also coming here to convert from the distance on the graph to actual is also a full mark. And that's how you can get the four marks on that question. Now, Roman 2, setting the formula for magnification, that is one mark, half a mark, and also the magnification without units. Remember, magnification does not have units, so that is another half a mark, and you'll be able to get yourself the one mark. And lastly, for you to set all these ones correctly, real, inverted, and diminished, all must be correct for you to get this one full Max. So basically that's what they wanted in part D. Now we shall go to part E. Part E says that give two uses of conve concave mirrors. So one of the use is that they are used in car headlamps and in such lights to produce parallel beams of light. Another reason is that they are used by dentists for magnification so as to examine the patient's teeth. Then they are also used, they can also be used as solar concentrators. So you can also say that they are used in astronomical telescopes reflecting type to collect enough light rays that can be used to view astronomical bodies. You can also say that they are used as shaving mirrors because they magnify the object. You can also say that they are used as projectors to collect light that would be lost. That would be lost. So basically, any of this is okay. Now let's see how much can be awarded. So that means that any two of these reasons uses is okay. Yeah, I think you have marked yourself and checked your progress. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you with another FC question for you to try out. So that brings us to the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching and be reminded that be reminded that the solutions will be available in the next video. So if you have not yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button below this video so that you can be updated when the next video with the solutions has been released. Otherwise, thank you for watching and please if you know of any student who is not yet on this platform, you can share this link with them. So they can also join and we all benefit as a family.